Hey guys, welcome to Neat Movie News. My name is Dean Thomas. His name is Dean. We like Dean. Dean. And one of the many movies opening up this weekend is a coming-of-age dramedy in The Edge of Seventeen. There are two types of people in the world. The people who radiate confidence and naturally excel at life. Golden boys. What's up? And the people who hope all those people die in a big explosion. Look at that stupid shirt my brother's wearing. It screams I have a body complex worse than a girl's. When I was 13, it was clear which side of the equation I was on. Now the basic story of this is it's Nadine, played by Haley Steinfeld. And she's a 17-year-old junior in high school who really just does not fit in. She's kind of always been an outcast most of her life. She's had some pretty bad things happen in her life that's kind of led her to be who she is. And she's really only got one friend, and that is her best friend, Krista. And the basic story then goes that she really does not, um, Nadine, that is, really does not like her older brother, who kind of, she believes is kind of, you know, this perfect guy, this perfect specimen. He's a jock. He's popular. You know, the exact opposite of her. And her best friend Nadine ends up getting into a relationship with her older brother, which kind of devastates her. And then her and Krista get into a big fight. And, you know, from there, it's her trying to figure out who she really is in this world and just trying to come to terms with who she is as a person. And this movie, it's a really enjoyable movie. And I think there's a lot to take away from it. For me, I was hoping it would actually be a little bit funnier because this movie advertises itself on the humor more so. But... What I what ended up happening is this movie had a lot more emotion to it than I expected. Because the character of Nadine really is, she is very awkward, she's very different, she has very, very little self-confidence and self-esteem. And that was actually something I could relate to, because as someone that is always, I wasn't an outsider or anything, but you know, I always kind of felt that way. And I had, to this day, self-confidence still isn't my biggest thing. This review is getting real personal all of a sudden. But so I could relate to her character basically is what I'm trying to say. So I felt for a lot of the things she was feeling going through. And I definitely felt for her character and could relate to her character, which was nice because that really brought me through the movie as a whole. Now, I really did like the directing of this movie as well because it was kind of quirky and it was a little, little off, which I felt, felt the character of, of Nadine. And I also really liked that. It just had a, a good flow to it. I really could appreciate that. I kind of like the colorful nature that the sets and the and the clothing all the characters wore. So I, I really did like that. And it really felt like a real high school. I believed all these characters were actually that age. And a lot of the actors are relatively close to that. So I think that worked out really well to really make you feel like you were in high school. And being that I'm not that far removed from it, it, it kind of took me back to that. And I, once again, could relate to it. The movie really is. It's got some really funny stuff. Woody Harrelson is maybe one of my favorite comedic actors out there, and he steals every scene he's in. You know, actually, I was writing my own suicide note just now. As some of you know, I have 32 fleeting minutes of happiness during lunch, which has been eaten up again and again by the same especially badly dressed student. And I finally thought I would rather have the dark nothingness. Have a nice life without me, fuckers. He plays her teacher, the kind of, she's the, she confides in a lot of what's going on in her, in her life with him. And it's just everything about his character I found really enjoyable. He steals every scene he is. is by far the funniest character in the movie, at least in my opinion. And I really just, I enjoyed every time he was on screen. I was hoping he was in it a little bit more. He's in it a good a good amount, but I was, wish he was in it even a little bit more because his character was so much fun when he was on screen. Now, the movie, there was a couple of things that I didn't love. I didn't love it as much as I was hoping to, but I think that's because I got my expectations slightly too high. Like I said, it wasn't as funny as I was hoping it would be, and some of the jokes don't really work. But I think the nice thing is, even if the jokes didn't completely work, you could just associate it with that character because Nadine's so kind of awkward and different that you could just, it would, it made it part of her character and kind of a charming aspect of her character. So that, you know, I wish it was a little bit funnier, but it still worked. I was still very entertained. I was never bored through this movie or kind of, you know, like cringing because of a joke or anything like that. And I think the R rating actually for this movie really worked well because. As someone who goes in high school, you know, things, a lot of things kids say in that are not, you know, PG. So I thought a lot of those sort of jokes and the humor they used worked and felt natural in the setting. 
there was a few continuity errors actually within this movie that kind of would just take me out of it briefly. So a little sloppy here and there, but I mean, it was like two, three times max. There was nothing crazy. But like I said, I think the emotion is what really set it for me because there's some really heartfelt scenes. And like I said, some things I could really relate to as someone who could relate to Nadine as a character. And there are some really good emotional scenes that I think Haley Steinfeld really, really shined in. I've been a fan of her since she was, you know, like 16, 15, 16 back in True Grit when she was in the remake. And I've been a fan of her ever since going forward when she was really good in Begin Again, uh, which is on Netflix right now. I really highly suggest people check that movie out. I don't think enough people saw it. But she's great in that, and she's really great in this because Nadine is a very complicated character, and there's a lot of emotion to her underneath the surface. And I thought Haley Steinfeld played that really, really well. And that's what sold me because I could really follow her character through all of this. So for me overall, I think The Edge of 17 is a really enjoyable movie and definitely one of those movies I think would be really rewatchable. It's a great coming of age sort of movie, figuring out who you are in the world. It mixes the comedy with the drama really well. I wish it was a little bit funnier, but I think the emotional side that they portrayed was done really well. So that actually made up for some of the comedy that was lacking for me at times. Woody Harrelson is great in the movie. There's great performances. I believed all of the characters. I had I had a pretty fun time watching this in the crowd I was in. Also seemed to be enjoying it quite a bit. So for me, I'm going to go with a pretty solid score for The Edge of 17. I'm going to give it a 75%. It's enjoyable. There's times where the story isn't as funny or even as emotional at times, but I was never bored. I was definitely into the story, and I was entertained at the very least. I really liked how the movie kind of wrapped up. I loved a lot of the interactions between characters, and, and it never tried to surprise you or anything. It just kind of told you what the story is and just let you kind of follow these characters. And I really like the characters, especially Nadine, as I've said plenty of times. I can really relate to her, her side of her story and how she felt about herself, especially going through, you know, that rough age of being right in the middle of high school. So I really did like this movie. I think if, if you're a fan of these sort of movies, these kind of coming of age movies, these dramedies, I think you could really enjoy this movie especially if you are within my age range and maybe you're not too far removed from high school you could really really relate to what's going on in this movie but I think overall anybody that's been to high school could also relate to what's going on so I definitely recommend people going to check this movie out at some point because it's a fun enjoyable movie with a lot more heart to it than I was expecting so for me The Edge of 17 is definitely an enjoyable movie well there you guys have it that's my review of the movie make sure you're following me on twitter at neat movie news for all the latest in the world of movies Thank you guys so much for listening, and we will see you back here next time.